And now you're local on the eights. Good afternoon from Boston Common. I'm meteorologist Eric Fisher. The grass is covered. The snow rates pick up this afternoon. Tonight, we've got a Beacon Hill blizzard on our hands. We've got a forecast. It's going to be one of the top five storms all time here in the city. Coming up as we track Nemo on the Weather Channel. Thanks so much for joining us for our continuing coverage of Winter Storm Nemo. I'm Julie Martin. Let's get right to the very latest information coming in on Winter Storm Nemo. As we've been reporting, the travel ban in Boston goes into effect in just about 30 minutes at 4 o'clock Eastern time. The governor says anyone out on the streets at that time is subject to a $500 fine and up to a year in jail. Also, in Toms River, New Jersey, the Office of Emergency Management has issued a voluntary evacuation order to residents of the Barrier Islands. More information straight ahead, but for now, let's turn it over to Kim. I right, thank you, Julie. Now we're going to go in depth with Dr. Postel on this in Boston. And, you know, Dr. Postel, we're seeing conditions go downhill. We saw that with Eric Fisher showing us visually. But on the radar, we're seeing it's the region. Just for reference, here's Boston, Gloucester, Situate, Massachusetts. Uh, the snow intensity is picking up. It has been over the last couple of hours and will continue to get worse during the next several hours. I wanted to point out uh, these wind gusts here. Boston, Logan, gusting to 37. Situate, gusting to 35. So we have some very strong wind gusts, particularly out on the Cape of Chatham, gusting to 40. So the wind is going to be a very significant factor coming in off the water and that is going to make the conditions that much worse uh, particularly for some coastal flooding but also creating blizzard-like conditions coming soon. That's true and Dr. Postel on our breaking weather alert system we're seeing now that um, Oceanside Drive area yeah. of Situate Mass are asking folks to evacuate there. Yeah, that's exactly right. And you know, Situate right about here, and with the strong east winds, we're starting to see some coastal flooding. So this is going to be a significant problem with Nemo, and it's going to have some, you know, hurricane-like uh, impacts in the sense that we're going to see some water rises that are very significant, several feet possibly, along the uh, Massachusetts coast. So this has uh, got multiple uh, hazards to deal with, and not just snow and wind. And we have to think about high tides as well, just Absolutely. like with a hurricane. That's so exactly very interesting. Right. So what and, happens from here? Right. So what we've got is a uh, four o'clock this afternoon. We will have we have Boston in moderate snow, and I've looked at a lot of observations around these regions here at these cities, and we are seeing moderate snow, which means visibility is generally less than a mile and accumulation rates probably about an inch per hour and I think it's going to get even worse as we move through the rush hour in the evening hopefully nobody's on the roads though right, right? hopefully <laughs> we're going to see winds increase from where they are now in the 25 to 35 mile per hour range in gusts then look at this by eight o'clock tonight this is when the real business end of Nemo comes in with heavy snow I think there could be accumulation rates here of several inches per hour and I wouldn't be surprised to see some thunder snow 